let's have a look at question 28 in this video so suppose that the weekly amount of time teenagers spent on the internet is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 1.5 hours a sample of a hundred teenagers is selected at random and the sample mean is 6.5 hours. Now what's going to be the 95% confidence interval? So let's recall what's the 95% confidence interval that's going to give us a range of values in which we will have the true population mean in 95% of random samples of the size of a hundred observations. So how do we calculate that, the 95% confidence interval when we have a sample size of 100 observations? That's going to be the average, the sample average plus minus a margin of error. And that margin of error is the critical value Z at the 95% confidence interval multiplied with the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So it's all about math now we'll have the 95% confidence interval equal to the average sample, I wrote them here, the data, that's 6.5, plus minus the critical value, the 95% confidence interval is going to equal to 1.96, multiplied with the standard deviation of 1.5, divided by the square root of 100, divided by the square root of 100. So if we work out the math over here, adding the margins of error to the left and to the right, that's going to equal to 6.206 and 6.794 and that happens to be the same as in the answer key so the answer is true but before stopping the question before finishing the question let's interpret this so what does this exactly mean it means that in 95 percent of random samples of random samples with the size of a hundred observation each, we will have the true population mean included in this range. So our mean is gonna be, or let's say that this range is gonna include the true population mean in 95% of the random samples with the number of observations of a hundred observations for each sample. Hope this makes sense and we are done.